All right, so as always, we want to make sure that our area is nice and clear. There's no lamps we're going to knock off tables or things we're going to trip over, anything we're going to step on, okay? We're going to start with a warm-up. Then we're going to do our full body exercise. So we're starting with our legs, working our way up to our core, our tummy muscles, back, stabilizing muscles, all that. Then we're going to do our upper body. And if we have time, we'll do some hand-eye coordination at the end as well, too. But first, we're going to do our warm-up. So again, make sure you're not going to knock anything over. Get those arms straight out to your sides. Everyone's up out of their seats. And on the count of three, we're going to start little circles going forward. Ready? One, two, three. Little circles going forward that are getting slightly bigger. Nice circles, Carrie. And slightly bigger. Big as you can go. See how big you can make those circles there. Amazing. And Let's see those circles, you in. Threes. We're gonna do little circles going the opposite direction now. So throw it in reverse. Let's go backwards circles. There we go. Nice, you in. Good job. And they're getting bigger. Bigger. Nice job, Dario. As you can go. Big as you can go. Those helicopter blades going. Good job, everybody. Love it. Nice circles, Elvie. All right, we are going to take our shoulders and we're going to bring them up to our earlobes as close as you can. Ready? One, two, three, up and down. We're going to do this 10 times. Up and down. There's two. Good job, three, Carrie. Four. It's just like you're saying, I don't know. I don't know. Nice strides, Nathan. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one, one big last, I don't know, I don't know. And 10, perfect. Okay, we're gonna get our feet about shoulder width apart here. Okay, we're gonna put our hands on our hips and our feet are gonna be in cement. They are not gonna move. What is gonna move is your hips, your butt, your belly button, all of that big circle. It's like you've got an invisible hula hoop on. You're trying to keep it up. Big circles, nice and wide. Nice, you in full range of motion. Good job. Good job, Kimmy and Chloe. Nice. Kimmy and Chloe are almost in sync with how well they're mm -hmm. moving together. There. Look like a dance video. And freeze. We're gonna go back the opposite direction. Opposite direction. Perfect. Same. Good thing. job, Adam. Let's see those circles. Different direction. Let's see it, Adam. Get moving those hips. I know you can move those hips more than that. There we go. Oh, now nice. Now he's moving. Love it. Perfect. Okay. We're just going to quickly tilt to the camera. Boop. See what's going on with the legs. We are going to take our left leg and we're going to do one big step forward. Big step forward. We're going to put our hands on our knee. We're going to lean forwards a little bit here. Okay. Keeping that back foot nice and flat. I don't want to see people up on their toes like this. I want to see nice and flat. Gonna stretch out that back calf muscle there. Nice we're job, gonna, Owen. Later, we're gonna be working out those legs good. So you wanna pull a muscle. And back, that's good. So we're gonna take our right foot, big step forward now. And leaning forward. Let's see that lean, Ewan. Let's see those stretches. And we're gonna hold it three seconds. Two seconds. Nice job, Carrie. Good stuff. All right. And last but not least, we're going to get those ankles nice and warmed up. So let's pick up our right foot. Let's point our toes like a ballerina. Toes into the ground. Little ankle circles. Little ankle circles around. No one likes to start the weekend with a rolled ankle. So let's make sure we get all those little fibers and muscles and all that stuff warmed up in our ankles. Nice circles, Ewan. And we'll switch Good feet. Job, Adam. Let's pick up our left foot, point our toes, toes to the ground. Little ankle rolls, little ankle circles. Whatever you want to call them, just get those ankles moving. 
Nice ankle circles, LV. Keep going. Good job, Jocelyn. Uh, hey, zing. Perfect. All right, that brings us to our first exercises. Like we were saying, we are going to be doing our lower body first. So there are going to be two versions of this. I'm going to do the level two version. You can't see my head right now. That's not important because all you need to see is my lower body. Okay. So I'm going to be doing the level two version, which I'll show you in one second. The level one version is going to be done by the lovely and talented Sue In on the other screen over here. Okay. So if you want to follow level one, watch her screen. If you want to follow level two, watch my screen. Okay. So the level one version of this, we are going to get our feet about shoulder width apart. And all we're going to do is we are just going to get our knees bent as far down as you can go. Now, I don't want you guys to bend at the waist. So this is not a bend over at the waist exercise. It's a bend at the knees. Try and keep your back as straight as you can and just go as low as you can. Okay. So low as you can. All right. The level two version. All right, I'm gonna show it to you from the side and from the front. So from the side, we're actually gonna pick up our weights. So pick up your weights or your soup cans or whatever it is you've got, okay? And all we're gonna do, same thing, feet are shoulder width apart, but we are going to touch the ground with our weights, okay? So to do that, you're really gonna to need to bend your knees. So all the way down, touch, all the way up. All the way down, touch, all the way up, okay? So from the front, looks like this all the way down touch all the way up all the way down touch all the way up okay so we're going to do it 10 times for each one okay so we'll do it two sets of 10 so we'll do 10 quick break 10 more all right once again level one watch Sue In's screen level two watch my screen so if you're doing level two you should have weights or soup cans or water bottles of some sort in your hands Okay, I'll do these facing everyone. Feet about shoulder width apart. And again, not a race. Try and keep up with the pace I'm going at. Ready, set, here we go. Down, touch, up. One, down. Good job, Ewan. Touch, up. Two, down. Nice job, up. Adam. Up. Three. Look at those weights. Touch. Whew. Up, four, down, touch, up, five. Great job, Nathan and Tim. Touch, up, six, down, touch, up. Nice, Kimmy and Chloe. Down, touch. Good up. idea, sharing those weights. Down, touch, up, nine, and last. One, Elvie, you can do up. it. Touch, up, there's 10. Good job. Job, everybody. We'll do a real quick breather here. Nice deep breath in and out. Good stuff. Now, quick reminder, right? Whether you're doing level one or level two, doesn't matter. I want to see lots of knee bend. Okay. I saw a couple of our friends doing a little bit of knee bend and then a lot of waist bend. Right? We're not trying to fold ourselves in half here. Lots of knee bend. Okay. So give our legs one last wiggle. There we go. My level twos. You can pick up your weights again. Level ones. Deep breath. Feet are all shoulder width apart. On the count of three, we're going to do our second set of 10. Okay. Ready? One, two, and three. Down. Touch. Up. One. Down, touch, up, two. Here, let's do those exercises. Touch. You too, up. Ewan. Three, down. There we go. Nice, Ewan. Keep going. Up. Four. Nice job, Adam. Touch, up, five. Down. You can do it, Carrie. Touch, up, six. We're over halfway. Down, touch. Good job, Nathan. Up. Seven, down, touch, up. Eight, down, touch, up, nine, last one, down, touch, and up. There's 10. Good job, everybody. Nice work. My level twoers, you can put your weights off to the side because you're not going to need it for this next exercise, okay? 
So our next exercise, remember how I said we were warming up those calf muscles for a reason? Well, this is the reason, because this is going to be our calf little raises or tippy toes, whatever you want to call them. But we're going to be using this muscle here. So your calf muscle, that meaty part right behind your shin bone below your knee, okay? Level ones, you are going to find some sort of sturdy object like a wall or a bookcase or a fireplace mantle, okay? Something that's not gonna move. You're not gonna touch something that easily moves around like this, okay? Something solid like a wall, okay? You're gonna grab it and everyone remembers our flamingo legs, right? Flamingo leg means you bring one leg up like this, okay? So only one leg is on the ground. What we're gonna do, is you are going to, if you're picturing this as my foot, you're gonna go all the way up on your tippy toes and then back down. All the way up on your tippy toes and then back down, okay? So what it looks like, you flamingo, all the way up, high as you can, and then back down. All the way up, high as you can, and then back down, okay? So that's what my level ones are gonna do. You're gonna hold on to an object, or if you've got a partner, you've got a parent or someone with you, you can use them and hold on to them as well too. All right, my level twoers, it's the same thing. We're still going up on our tippy toes and back down, but we're not gonna hold on to anything. So you're working on your balance as well too. So level two probably makes sense to put your arms out to your side to help with your balance, okay? So same thing, tippy toe up and down, up and down, up and down. Okay, we are going to do eight on our right leg. Then we're gonna switch and do eight on our left leg. Then we'll do a real quick breather. Eight more on our right, eight more on our left, and then we're moving on, okay? So let's go for my level oneers, grab onto your object, okay? Level twoers, let's get our arms straight out to our sides. Everybody is gonna start on our right foot though. So left leg, when I say flamingo, your left leg, Thumbs up, okay? Ready? Three, two, one, flamingo. And here we go. Up, down, there's one, two. Nice eight, job, Kenny and Chloe. Four, five. You and let's see it. Six, seven, LB, can we see your flamingo? Eight. Good job, everybody. So you can put your feet back down once you've done your eighth one. Deep breath. And out. All right. Let's get those arms back out to our side. Same thing, but our opposite leg this time. So three, two, one, flamingo. Up goes our leg. And here we go. Eight with our left. Up. Down. Nice job, Dario. Down is two. Down is three. Really try and get up as high as you can on your tippy toes. It's four. We're halfway. Nice, Carrie. Five. Nice job. There we go. Six. Seven. High as you can. And eight. Good job. All right. Good job, LV. A little, a little wiggle there. We're going to do a 10 second breather. Okay, so we've done one set because we've done one on either leg. It's time for our second set. So we're gonna do eight more on our right, eight more on our left, and then we're done. Okay, so again, get those legs a little wiggle if you need to, all right? As always, if you found level one where you're holding on to something was too easy, try level two for the second set. Vice versa, if you couldn't quite get your balance down right, try just holding on. Right. If you want, you can even just try it holding on with just one arm, right? That, that might be a good little in between the two if you want, okay? But either way, if you're doing level ones, grab onto something. If you're doing level twos, let's get those arms straight out to our sides, right? We're gonna start back with our right foot again. So flamingo our left, and on the count of three, we're gonna start here, ready? One, two, three, up. Down, up. Great job, Kimmy and Chloe. Up, down. Good work. Down, 
Oh, Dario, that balance. Holy moly. I know. Dario must be uh, getting ready to do a balance beam or something there, I think. Seven. There's one more. And eight. Good job. All right. Deep breath in between here. Perfect. So that means we're going to flamingo our right leg. Last eight. And then we're done with this exercise. Ready? One, two, three, up and down. Up. Let's see that flamingo, Anthony. You can do it. Three. Come on, Gary. Four. Five. Wow, you and holy moly. Good job. Seven. And eight. Good work, everybody. Keep going. If you haven't finished your eighth yet, keep going until you finish it. All right. And I found it. Kicked it a little bit further than I thought. All right. So we are going to do one more lower body exercise before we get to our first water break of the day. Okay. Now, for those that are going to do level ones, we are going to just do normal lunge. So if you remember a lunge, you're trying to get your knee as close to the ground as possible without it touching. So you don't want to actually go down to the point where your knee is on the ground. You want to have it hover just a little bit above, right? So it's step forward, hover, step back, and put your other foot out, step and back, okay? That is what level one is going to be doing. Level two, you're going to need to find an object of some sort. It can be, like I've got here, a little box. It could be a little bench. It could be a couch. It could be a table. It could even be a step. If you've got stairs near you, it works as well, too. If you've got a second stair, you can do that as well, okay? Whatever it is, all you're going to be doing is you're going to be using your foot on it. That doesn't mean we're going to be standing on it. All you're going to be doing is just putting your toes on it. And the reason we're doing that is we are going to be doing one-legged lunges. So we go all the way down and up, down and up, okay? So for our level twos, we are going to do eight lunges with our left foot on the box. Then we're going to do eight lunges with our right foot on the box. So you get to do either leg, okay? Level ones, you guys are just going to do two sets of eight of just normal lunges. So nothing changes for my level oneers in between sets. Okay, level twos, you just switch legs. Okay, so 10 more seconds to see if you can find an object, stand in front of a couch, stand in front of a chair, in front of a coffee table, something low, something that's about knee high, works really, really well. Okay, so level twos, pay attention to me. Level ones, paying attention to Sue in. Okay. Everybody for level twos, we are gonna start with our left leg on the box first, okay? So left leg on the box. My level ones can get ready for their lunges there. And on the count of three, we're gonna go. Ready? One, two, and three. Down and up. One, down and up. Two. Nice job, Nathan and Tim. Great work. Just three. Down. Good job, Kenny. Adam. Four. Adam, let's see it. Nice. Keep going. If you want, you can put your arms out to the side. Six. Whatever helps you with balance. Seven. Great job, Dario. And eight. Good job. All right. You can give your legs a little wiggle. We'll do a deep breath again. My level twoers, we're gonna switch feet. So now your right foot is on the box, your left foot is on the ground. And same thing, get that knee as close to the ground as possible without it touching, all right? Not a race. Ready, starting in three, two, and one. One, two, Nice job, Anthony and Carla. Three. Come on, Hildy, you can do it. Four. Five. 
five. Carrie, let's see those lunges. Six. Come on, Carrie, you can do it. Last one. And eight, which brings us to our first water break of the day. So go and grab your water bottles there, folks. Great job, everyone. Well, working so hard, you definitely deserve a water break. Ah, get some delicious H2O. Get that box out of the way. And as you're enjoying your water, just do a little scan of your floor. Okay, because the next little part we are going to be doing our core work on the ground. So you want to make sure there's nothing on the ground that you're going to lay down on and poke yourself with or trip over any of that stuff. Okay. Oh, and once you're done your water break, you can join us on the ground. We'll give you guys another 10 seconds. Put your water bottles away. Grab one last sip. If you're all done with your water, you can start laying down on the ground just like Coach Kyle is doing. Yeah, everybody should be on the ground. All right. So what we are going to work on is our core work. So anytime you're using your core, it's all those tummy muscles that you really want to focus on, right? Right behind your belly button. Okay, your abs, that is what is really gonna help you with these exercises, okay? So for this one, we're gonna be doing leg hovers. Some people think leg hovers are gonna be using lots of leg muscles. You really just wanna keep your tummy tight and that'll help you here, okay? So leg hovers are pretty simple. We're just gonna have our feet straight out. So we're gonna make ourselves a nice straight line. What you do with your arms is entirely up to you. You wanna put them out like that, go for it. Put them behind your head, go for it cross your arms, go for it. Whatever is most comfortable for you, okay? Level ones, you guys are going to do 20 seconds, two sets, one leg only, okay? So when we say go, you're only going to lift your right leg, okay? So left one stays on the ground, but you're going to try and keep that right leg up for the full 20 seconds, okay? Level twos, we're gonna do both legs at the same time. So when we say go, both legs come up at the same time and we try and hold for 20 seconds. Now, you'll notice when I'm hovering, I'm only hovering a couple inches off the ground, right? So I don't need to see legs way the heck up here, okay? Only need to be a couple inches off the ground. Now, for those that remember this from last time, I like to make a little bit of a butt pillow for myself. I like to make myself nice and comfortable. So if you wanna do that too, Take your one hand, you make it flat, put your other hand flat on top of it, and then that is sort of your pillow. You're gonna just put it right in the small of your back, right near your tailbone, and then that just makes it a little bit more comfortable, I find, okay? So level ones, you guys are doing it only one leg. Level twos, we're doing both legs, okay? So two sets of 20 seconds, hold it as long as you can. Think nice and straight. Right? You gotta be a straight piece of wood, piece of metal, something like that that doesn't bend. All right? On our marks, get set, hover. So legs are up and we are hovering. And as always, it starts off pretty easy. So then you might start to feel your legs getting a little heavier. Great job, Anthony. They you might even start to shake a little bit and that's fine. And you're really nice going, Kimmy and Chloe. You're over halfway. Good job. Keep going, Carrie. Keep hovering. Five. Keep that leg up, Carrie. Four, you can do it. Three, two, one. And you can put them down. Woo. There you go. Ooh, good job, everyone. Starts off easy, but it gets a little bit tricky pretty quickly, eh? Those legs of yours are pretty heavy once you have to hold them up. And a couple deep breaths here. So that's one set of them. We're gonna do our second set. So again, if you found that it was way too easy just doing it with one leg, try both legs. If you found it was way too hard with two legs, try it with just one leg, okay? 
My level oneers, though, if you had your right leg up the first time, this time I want you to switch legs. Okay, so it's going to be your other leg. All right, and as always, if you're going to make the butt pillow like I do, hand flat, hand on top, and then into the small of our back. Let's all get comfy here. There we go. All right. Everyone should have their legs straight out beneath them. And on the count of three, we're going to start our second 20 second hover. All right. Ready? One, two, three. And we're up. Good job, everyone. Let's Keep see those leg hovers, LV. Nice and straight. Try not to bend your knees or anything. Really you too, Adam. Let's see it. Muscles. Squeeze those tummy muscles and that'll help you. Whoa, Carrie, good job. Nice, nice leg up there. Good work, Carrie. You're over halfway. Six. Good job, Dario. Four. Three. Come on, Adam, four, you can do it. One. And there we go. Down. Good job, everybody. My goodness, who knew legs were so heavy? They feel so light when you're up for a walk, right? All right, so what we are gonna do, no one needs to stand up. We are actually just going to roll over onto our side is all we're gonna do for our next exercise, okay? So get yourself comfy. I like to just sort of prop my head up. Some people like to just lay down on their shoulder like that, whatever's more comfortable for you, okay? What we're going to do with our legs straight out, just put your feet one on top of each other, okay? So stack them up. And then you're just gonna bend your knees. So now notice how both my feet and my knees are one on top of each other, okay? What we're gonna do, we're gonna do our clam opens, which really helps strengthen your hip muscles, okay? So what you're gonna do is you think of like a clam underneath the water, it opens and closes its shell. That's what we're gonna do, but it's just gonna be nice and slow, okay? So open and shut, nice and slow. Open and shut, okay? So we're gonna do 10 on either side, okay? And then we'll move on. But what the modification is, is if you can only go this high, just only go this high. You're only going as high as you can. So if this is as high as you can go, that's fine. If this is as high as you can go, that's fine. But you really wanna go until you start to feel some resistance, okay? See how far you can open the clam before you shut it again. Okay, ready, set, go. So again, it's not a race. We're just opening it as far as we can. Oh, look at those. <clears throat> look at those clams. Kimmy and Chloe. Open it and close it. Good job. Open, close. You should start to feel it in your hip. If you don't know where your hip is, right around where your waist or your belly button You'll feel that little bone that sticks out. That's your hip bone there, actually. Good job, Tim and Nathan. Seven. Adam, let's see it. Let's see that clam. There you go. Clam. Keep going. Eight. Good job, Adam. Nice, Anthony. Nine. Last one. Great job, Adam, Carla. Ten. Good job. All right. So. What we can do now, we can just do a little flipperoo onto our other side. So the exact same position, except where your head was, your feet should be. And where your feet just were, your head is gonna be. So you're just facing the opposite direction, okay? So again, to get yourself set up, stack your feet one on top of each other, and then bring your knees up, okay? And that way you've got your feet on top of one another and your knees are one on top of each other, okay? An exact same thing, we're gonna do 10 on this side, open them as far as you can, and then slowly close it, all right? Ready, set, go. So open and close, one, open. There we go, nice carry. Close, this is two, open. Can we see it, LV? Close, three. Nice, Adam, good job. Four. Good job, Laura. You two, Owen and Jocelyn. Five. Six. 
Let's see those clams, Ewan. Seven. Eight. Two more. Great job, Dario. Nine. Last nice, one. give me and Chloe. Ten. Oh my good, Chloe, you look so comfortable. You look like you might fall asleep right now. Good stuff. All right, so again, we're not standing up because we've got one more thing we are gonna do on the ground, okay? One more core workout, then we can all stand up and do a water break, okay? So what we are going to do, if you've got your weights, you can use them and just put them on your feet. If you don't have weights, you can tuck them underneath a couch if you want. If you've got a partner, you can have them stand on your feet if you want. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two sets of eight, okay? So two sets of eight. Level one is gonna be crunches. Level two is going to be full sit-ups, okay? So if we remember our crunches, we're just trying to get our shoulder blades off the ground. So we're going up this high, okay? That's as high as you need to go for our crunches, okay? And again, you're focusing on Sue Inns, uh video screen if you're doing level ones. If we're doing level twos, we're gonna do a full sit up. So we're gonna bring our chest all the way up to our knees. Okay, so all the way up like that. All right, and as always, you're gonna look at my screen for level twos, okay? So everybody should be in your starting sit up position, which means your back is flat on the ground. You've got your knees up in your little triangles. What, again, what you decide to do with your arms is up to you. Some people like to keep them into their chest. Other people put it behind their head, whatever you want, okay? So we're gonna do eight. I'm gonna set a pace. If you're a little bit quicker or a little bit slower, that's fine. But if you're way quicker, you're going too fast. So you need to slow down a bit, okay? So eight setups or eight crunches on the count of three. Ready? One, two, and three, up, down, one. Good job, Nathan. Nice, Ewan, there we go. Three. Good job, Adam. You can Four. do it, Anthony. Five. Good work, Dario. Look at those sit-ups. Whew. Seven. Nice teamwork, Kimmy and Chloe. <laughs> Mm hmm look at you guys go Sweet. good work really good job keep going until you finish your eighth one keep going until you finish all eight of them good job and once you finish your eighth you can do some deep breaths here catch our breath all right so we've got eight more and then it's our second water break of the day so you're almost there folks you're getting oh. you're eight sit-ups away Kimmy and Chloe have a neat trick. Can you guys show everyone your high five? Kimmy and Chloe? <laughs> no. Those <are> cool. <laughs> Love it. Love awesome. it. Awesome. The only thing I want to remind everybody is just when you're coming back down, if you're doing a full sit up, make sure you come down slowly because no one wants to hit the back of their head on the ground because you launched yourself backwards, okay? All right, let's do one last deep breath and then final set of eight. Ready? In, out. All right, on the count of three, eight more. One, two, three, up, down, one, down, two. Nice, Nathan, whoa, holy moly. Three. Nathan's gonna have a six pack, I think, four. I know, the professional over there. Five. Good job, Gary. LV, let's see those sit-ups. Seven. <laughs> nice, Ewan, good job. Eight. Good job, everybody. Keep going until you finish your eighth one. Keep going until you good finish job, your eighth one. Nice work, everyone. And as soon as you finish your eighth sit up or crunch, go grab your water bottle and do our second water break. Nice little water break song, Coach Kyle. Oh, thank you. Let me tell you. <laughs> this is how musical I am before my coffee. You don't want to see me later in the day. 
<laughs> oh dear. Make sure you guys you guys all get some water because you've been working super hard. Mm-hmm. Good work, everybody. Anyone have some fun plans for the rest of the day? Can we go out and enjoy the sun, maybe? I know I'm going to go and enjoy the sun. Get outside. Me too. What's it supposed to get up to today? Like 10 or something? I, I heard double digits. I don't know. Oh, uh-huh. let's get rid of those snow banks there. I'm ready to see some grass outside. Mm-hmm. Can we go get our suntan on. Uh, yeah, yeah. Us, or us burn. Heads will really go out there and break <laughs> yeah. their hands there. Let me tell you. Everyone right, else can. Four seconds for your water breaks and then start putting your water bottles off to your side. You're going to get started with some good old fashioned push ups, everybody. So, again, we're making sure there's nothing on the ground that's in our way. Okay. So there's two ways to do it. We'll show you the level one first. Okay, we remember our push-up position. We've got our hands flat on the ground. They're right underneath our shoulders, about shoulder width apart. Okay, the level one that Suin is gonna do, you're gonna be on your knees. Okay, so you're on your knees, cross your legs, and then lift. Okay, so you're just your knees. So I don't wanna see your feet on the ground. I wanna see you up on your knees, okay? And then you're just gonna go down and up. So you bring your chest to the ground and up, okay? Level twos, we're trying to bring our chest as close to the ground as possible without it touching. So just like we were doing with our lunges, if you remember, we were trying to get our knees as close to the ground without touching as possible. Same thing with a push-up. We're trying to get our chest as close to the ground as possible without it touching. So our level twos, we're straight out behind us, all the way down and up, okay? So level twos, you think a straight board, a nice piece of uh, wood or something like that from your head all the way to your toes. You think straight, 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 okay? All right, we are gonna do two sets of eight. So we're gonna do eight push-ups, then we're gonna catch our breath, then eight more. So as always, level twos, watch my screen. Level ones, you can watch through in screen, and we will get going in three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, three. Let's see, Adam. Good job. There we go. Nice. Seven, eight. Oh, great job, Anthony. Finish your eighth one. Keep going until you finished your eighth. Good work, everybody. So as always, if that was too easy at level one, try it for level two this time. Same thing if you found level two was too hard, go back down to level one. If it was just right, stay exactly where you are then. Okay. I'm, again, setting a pace. Doesn't mean you need to be quicker or slower than it. Try and keep up. Right? But if you're going much quicker, you're going a little bit too fast. Okay, so slow down a little bit. All right, eight more push ups, and then we're moving on to our next exercise. So let's get those hands nice and flat on the ground, shoulder width apart here. Okay, level twos, you can get your feet out behind you. Level ones, get those knees ready and on our marks. Get set. Go. One, two, three. Nice job, Nathan. Four, five, six. Whoa, Kimmy and Chloe, great job, guys. Eight. Keep going until you finish your eighth one. Keep going until you finish your eighth one. Keep going, Anthony. Great Great job. Good work. Love it. You guys and girls are push-up masters. Mm-hmm. All right. So there are two ways 
to do our next one. And really, it's just a comfort thing, okay? So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need your weight, and then you can either do it standing up or sitting down. So I will do the sit down version. Sue in will do the stand up version. Regardless of which version you choose, you need your weights. So let me see those weights. Show them to the camera. Give them a little wiggle. All right, see lots of you are ready to go. Love it. Perfect. Okay, so we are going to do hammer curls. So we remember our normal curls, our palm, the palm of your hand here, that was always facing up when we did our curls, right? So when we were doing our curls, we had our weight, it was side to side, it was down, it was up, okay? Hammer curls, pretend you're holding a hammer, okay? And it's straight up and down. So all you're doing is straight up and down. So it's a little bit of a difference. All you're really doing is just turning your wrist, okay? Turn your wrist. So instead of your weight being side to side, up and down, okay? We're gonna do two sets of eight. We're gonna do both arms at the same time. Okay, so eight, then a breather, eight more. What I really want you to focus on is if we remember our bicep, that's the front part of your muscle here. So your arm, so when you curl it up like this, you feel this little muscle start to bulge there. It feels like a little baseball or something is under your skin or an apple, that's your bicep. So when you get to the top of your hammer curl, I really want you to squeeze it, okay? So squeeze that muscle up nice and tight and then down, up to the top, down, okay? Again, not a race. We're talking about pace, not speed, all right? So everybody pick up your weights. If you're gonna do it standing up, pay attention to Suin screen. If you're paying, doing it sitting down, pay attention to my screen, okay? So everybody should have your weights at your sides right now. And on the count of three, we're gonna get started. Ready? One, two, and three. So up, down, there's one. Up, down, there's two. Up, down, three. Let's see it, Carrie. Down, four. Let's see up. those weights, nice. Down, five. Here we go. Up, down, six. Great up. job, Anthony and Carla. Seven. Last one, up. Good job, Anthony. And down is eight. Good job. So you can put your weights down beside you. If you want, you can give your arms a little bit of a wiggle, get all the jelly out of them there. Good stuff, everyone. Okay, like I was saying though, the speed you go up with is the speed you come down with. So remember, it's one Mississippi up, one Mississippi down. It's not slow, drop, slow, drop, right? And we're also not just waving them around like this. You get into a nice rhythm, right? Up, down, up, down. Very important anytime you're dealing with weights that you get into proper form and you do it nice and slowly. So if you start doing it when you're a little bit older with bigger weights and you start being a little bit silly with them, guess what? The things that I try and do in my 30s, I could probably do when I was a teenager and I would be fine, but now I'm gonna be sore the next day. So it's really important that you guys do them properly, okay? So again, weights are down by our sides here. And on the count of three, we're gonna slowly start our hammer curls. Ready? One, two, three, up, down. One, up, and down is two. Great job, LV. And down is three, up. Nice. And down is four. Adam, let's up. see it. Good job, Dario. Nice. There we go. Up. Keep going. Up. Hey, nice. Look at Adam go. Up. And down is seven. Last one. Up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And down is eight. Up. Good job, Dario. Work. 
Good job, everybody. I'm really impressed with you guys and girls this morning. All right. Mm -hmm. Our final one for upper body before we do a last water break of the day. We are going to call these ones chickens and eagles. Okay. So the level ones, I want you guys to really focus on chickens. If you remember the chicken dance, that's kind of what you're going to do here. Okay. So level ones, you're going to have your weights. You're going to bring them up to your chest. All right. And then you're going to do chicken up, chicken down, flap up. Flap down, okay? So you do little chicken wings, okay? Level two, same idea, but we're gonna do eagle wings. So eagles are have much bigger wings than chickens. So we are gonna go all the way out, all the way down, all the way out, all the way down, okay? We're gonna do two sets of eight. And if you're doing eagle wings, it's very important that when you get out here, you come down nice and slow. So I don't want to see any eagles getting out to here and then just drop in their arms. Okay. On our marks. Get set. I'm just going to back away from this wall so I don't hit it. And go. Out and down. There's one. Out and down. It's two. Nice job, Ewan. You got it. Three. Come on, Terry. Four. Nice, you in. Five. And six. Good job, Anthony. Four. Seven. And last one. Nice, Nathan. Good job, Kimmy. Uh, you put your weights down. Come on, give your shoulders a little, a little wiggle there to electric boogaloo if you want. All right, we've got eight more and then a water break, okay? If you're doing eagles, I really want you to focus on having your arms straight out. So really as far as you can go. Don't just sort of have loose arms coming up like this or wiggling around like that. Straight out if you can and then back, all right? So let's pick up those weights. Everyone do one big deep breath with me here once you've got your weights. Ready? In. And out. Okay. Chickens, get your weights ready up here. Eagles, get your weights ready down here. And on the count of three, we're going to start. One, two, and three. They're up. They're down. One, up. Good job, Chloe. Down. Two, up. Carrie, let's see it. Down. Three. Let's see those arms moving. Up. Down, it's four. Come on, Carrie, I know you can do it. Up. There, there we go. go, nice. Down, it's five. Six, we got two more than water. Up. Nice job, Nathan and Tim. Seven, last Look one. Look at those straight arms. And down is eight, amazing. All right, let's do our quick water break. And while you're having your last water break, if you can locate that little ball, that would be good too. So whether it's a bouncy ball, a soccer ball, your dog's chew toy ball, or even a rolled up pair of socks, go find that, okay? When you guys have everything ready, you can show it to the camera. Nice, Chloe, I see you're ready to go. Darius, ready to go. LV, good job. Anthony is ready. Awesome. See Adam and Nathan. Great job, guys. Amazing. Okay. So for this one here, I'm going to back up a little bit. There's going to be three parts to this. Okay. So the first part, I want everyone to take the ball and we're gonna do circles around our head with the ball, okay? I don't want you following the ball. I want you looking straight ahead this whole time. So around our head with our hands, okay? We're gonna do that 10 times. Ready? Here we go. Count them as they go around. One, two, three, Four. Nice job, Nathan. Six. Good work. 
Good job, Kimmy. Nine. Thank you, Chloe. And 10. Good job. So, okay, next one. Still looking straight ahead, so I don't want you looking down at what your hands are doing. Looking straight ahead at the wall. We're going to do the same thing, but around our waist this time. So like a hula hoop. Okay, so same thing. We're going to count 10 times. Ready? Here we go. One. Two. Let's see it, LV. Three. Four. Five. Go, Anthony. Six. Nice, Adam. Seven. Eight. Nine. Good Last job, Carrie. Ten. Nice, Carrie. Good job. Nice. Okay. Same thing. We're going to look straight ahead. This one's going to be a little bit tricky, and you're going to need to work on your balance. We're going to lift one leg up, and you're going to go over and under your leg. Okay? Ten times. Again, look straight ahead. Okay? Pick a spot on the wall. If you're looking at a spot on the wall, it helps for your balance. Okay? So lift your left leg, and we're going to do ten loops around your leg. Ready? Here we go. One. Let's see those loops, Ewan. Nice, good job. Four, five, six. Keep going, Carrie, you can do it. Seven, eight, nine. Nice, Dario. And good job. Keep going until you finish your 10th one. Nice one. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with our other leg this time. Okay, so our right leg is going to come up off the ground and we're going to loop around our right leg. Ready? Three. Two, one, here we go. One, two, three. Nice balance, Dario. Four, five, six. You got this, LV. Seven, eight. One, you in. Nine. Nice job, Kimmy. Ten. Good job. Keep going until you finish your 10th. Keep going until you finish your 10th. Good job, Laura. Uh, Good job, Jocelyn. All right, last one that we're going to do here. We're going to do a figure eight. So a figure eight is like this. It's like the number eight just turned on its side. Okay, we're going to do that between our legs. Okay, so what it looks like, you're going to put your legs shoulder width apart and then go through one leg, through the other. And you'll get into a rhythm. It feels weird at first, but you'll pretty quickly just get into a rhythm. Okay. So again, through one leg, through the other. 10 times, ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Good job, Carrie, nice. Four, five, six, seven. Good job, Kimmy and Chloe. Eight, nine, and 10. Good job, you guys. So that Great works work, on hand eye control and on your full body control as well, too, because you really get a lot of different aspects working out. So you can start at your head and go all the way down to your toes. But time flies when you're having fun, and it is time for our cool down now. So everybody is going to put the ball off to the side, stand up, make sure there's nothing you're going to trip over, and start looking to our right. And then roll our chin across our chest till we're looking to the left. That's good. And then roll it back to the right. Amazing. One more time. To the left. Stop, everyone. And roll Let's see that cool down, Carrie. You too, LV. Right. Amazing. Okay. We're going to do the I'm a little teapot. We're going to put one hand on our. Uh, hip, and we're gonna lean all the way over. Okay, pour out that teapot, pour out the teapot. Hold, hold. Let's see it, Adam. You can do uh, it. Nice job, Carrie. Sides. Good job, Adam. Another hip. Oh, hold. nice, Elvie. Sit way there. Good job. Good job, Daria. One, two. Good job, Nathan. Good work. 
All right, let's get those feet nice and wide, wider than your shoulders, wider than your shoulders. And we're gonna bend down and try and touch the ground without bending your knees. So keep your legs straight, bend down, touch the ground. And hold it. And hold it. Good job, Anthony. And done. Good job, everybody. Well, let's get all nice and close to the screen here. I hope you all have a phenomenal weekend. You have lots of fun. Get outside and enjoy the nice spring weather. And we'll see you next weekend on the mm -hmm. count of three. Great work, see. everyone. Awesome. Ready? One, two, three. Awesome. Uh -oh. Uh -oh.